Hey, it's Karina from Tone It Up, and this is your Tone It Up Triathlon Series. Today, I am going to share with you some of my favorite gear and a few little tips for that triathlon. I'm just gonna share with you some of the things that from my own experience, I've learned to love. And I figure we will start out with the swim portion. On the blog post, I'll also include a little race day checklist for both training and on race day, something that's imperative, goggles. <laughs> so I've tried a lot of different goggles in my practice. I love the Speedo Vanquisher. It's small around your eye and it's very low profile. It has UV protection and anti-fog, so I really like that fit. Next, for the swim portion, you need a good swim cap. What I've learned to like is a silicone swim cap. So that means it's non-slip and it doesn't tear, which is very important. I know I've had many caps that have ripped in the middle of my swim, so definitely I like the silicone ones. For your training, you need a good swimsuit. I wear Oakley Swimwear. And this one I like, you might have seen it on Instagram, it has the really cool back. I'll show you the Instagram picture here. Triangle top has the nice support in the back and love that suit and it's a really fun color. <laughs> uh, for your race day, wetsuits are great obviously for insulation, but they're also great for buoyancy. My first two triathlons, I actually swam in my surfing wetsuit <laughs> until I realized I love the sport and I wanted to invest in an actual triathlon wetsuit. The difference is it will make you more buoyant. Your arms and your limbs will float. It's a lot more mobile in your arms and your legs than any other wetsuit. So this one here is a Zoot Profit suit. It's really great, one of my favorites. And also for your swim transition, you need a towel. This is so when you come out of the water, you'll probably have some dirt or some sand on your feet and you need to dry your feet before you slip into those cycling shoes. All right, now we're in T1 and we're off on our bike. What do we need? For my first couple races, I used an old mountain bike, but I replaced the knobby tires with slick tires, so that helps you increase your speed. And then, once you realize you do wanna invest in a road bike, you can go out and there's so many fabulous brands. Um, I've always ridden Scott bikes. The one I currently ride is a Scott foil and they've been my favorite bikes. The road bikes are lightweight, so you go faster. They have the slick tires that give you speed. And, you know, eventually as you progress, you put on the clipless pedals. So yes, it's clipless pedal, but you actually clip in. And um, so then you invest in the clipless pedal shoes. Because your feet are locked into the pedals, uh, when you're riding, you'll have more power throughout the whole pedal stroke, a great thing to have. I would suggest getting something that has a Velcro and so then it's quicker than lacing up your shoes. So you'll save time and transition by doing that. These here are Shimano's that I, I ride in. The first couple races that I did, I did not clip in. Uh, it can be a little intimidating at first because you're locked into your bike and I've fallen a few times. But I would suggest practicing where there's no traffic, like maybe in a parking lot and just get into the habit of clicking out and clicking in. And socks, of course that's on the, the checklist, you know, then you won't get blisters and everything and just get a good sock that you like. It's kind of weird, I've tried out a few different socks, sometimes they're too thin, sometimes you like thicker, just gotta find what you like. And then of course, a helmet. Helmet for safety is so important, you gotta protect your noggin. So this is a, a Trek helmet. Any kind of mid-range helmet would be great. All right, now we're on to our run. What shoes do we wear? It's completely up to you and your foot. And what I would actually suggest is that you go to your local running store, have them watch you run, and get fitted for a good running shoe. Personally, I am an A6 Kayana girl. So I've run in these for years, especially my long distance runs. They're great, they're very supportive for my foot. So I really like A6. Uh, a great shoe for race day, and Zoot makes this. It's a uh, triathlon specific race day shoe. So they're very lightweight, and they have the, the slip-in. 
so you don't have to lace them up, which that helps you save time in your transition. I would just say whatever shoe that you do choose, make sure you train in it as well. You don't wanna just show up on race day in a brand new shoe. All right, now let's talk about apparel. This is the actual outfit I've chosen to wear on race day. For race day, you can choose a triathlon suit. It can be a one piece or a two piece. I'm wearing a two piece, so it's basically a sports bra here and a nice blue, and I think I'm gonna get Tone it up into the cross it. These here, you keep this entire outfit on from your swim, your bike, and your run. So you'll put your wetsuit on over it, then you'll take your wetsuit off and just cycle in this and then run in it. So the difference between this short and your training short is that the pad is a little bit lighter. So on your training short, if you're going on a, a long bike ride and that's all you're doing, it's a thicker pad, but this pad, is great because it will give you the comfort you need during your bike ride. It dries quickly and it'll give you the freedom you need during your run. And here is a jersey. So this is by Zoot. And what I like about this jersey here is, number one, it's breathable, flexible, but also back here, you can fit like your goose or your fuel, some water, whatever it is. There's nice pockets back here. I like to run in compression capris. They help reduce muscle fatigue, they add extra support, they're seamless and it reduces chafing, it has great ventilation back here, there's ventilation, and they help reduce your post-exercise muscle soreness. Compression is fabulous. And sports bras, these are from Oakley. They're very supportive and I happen to think they're gorgeous on the back. I also like this one, which is Brooks. For my runs, I like a really supportive uh, bra, and this one has a lot of nice ventilation in the back. And for a top, for this Brooks too, I like the tops on those hot days when you're going for a long run that are very breathable. Uh, and then also this one here, which is Under Armour. Um, again, another mesh, very breathable. That's what I, I love running in that. Uh, run shorts when I'm not wearing a compression capri. The Lululemon, always a favorite. It's very comfortable, they don't ride up. They have a lining built into them. And then this is a similar pair that Zoot makes. So very lightweight, breathable, dries quickly. All right, so now let's move on to some other essentials for race day and for training. Sunglasses, yes, of course. Always wear your sunglasses for your bike or your run. Oakley makes a wonderful active sunglass. These are the misconducts. And you'll see here, they have these little no-slip pads. So actually, as you sweat, the sunglasses stick more to your nose. These are fabulous, they're lightweight, and they come in lots of fun colors. Uh, my other favorite pair are the 26.2s, kind of a stylish aviator look. And these also come in fun colors. I have black and blue and yellow and all of that. And they also have the no slip pads here and they're lightweight. These are polarized too, which I love. A hat. A lot of you always see me in a hat. Number one reason, protection for, from the sun. Number two, sometimes I just don't want to do my hair. But uh, a visor or hat is great for training and race day. Keep you cool, keep the sun off your face. And an essential for triathlon is Body Glide. This is an anti-chafing, anti-rash little stick here that you apply on your skin. And it also is great for your wetsuit to help your exit and your entry a lot smoother and faster. Fuel belt. So you actually attach your race number, your bib, to this, and it makes it really quick to just snap it on when you're transitioning from your run and your bike. And it also holds some of your fuels right here. Oop. <laughs> Yeah, great thing. And it's teal, so it's cute. All right, and lastly, what I have here, a foam roller. I've talked before about the importance of foam rolling while you're doing your training. After every training session, you should stretch. And then also myofascial release, because you're working a lot of muscles, repeating it over and over again, so you'll get a lot of knots and some muscle soreness. So a foam roller is essential. This one here is a TP Therapy foam roller and it's portable, that's why I love it. So if you're traveling, it fits right in your suitcase or in your gym bag or um, it hangs off your gym bag. So it's a great product. And that's it. 
These are some of my favorite products that I've picked up over the years of competing, and I thought maybe you guys would enjoy them too. Keep checking in on Instagram and Twitter. More TIU tri-tips coming out soon too, and good luck on race day. Love ya.